the wisest spiritual teachers and the smartest happiness researchers all agree that we have everything within us that we need to live a beautiful life. The innate qualities of our true selves are everything that we need in order to be happy, fulfilled, and to do good work. And yet, as humans, we have a real tendency to ruminate on the dense and heavy thinking of the survival-based mind. These survival-based thoughts are acquired. They are not who we truly are. And yet, sometimes it feels like they imprison us and we can't seem to get out of them. I invite you to now ruminate on your beautiful qualities. Marinate in the excitement, the depth, the beauty of your spectacular heart. And now let's become expert noticers again. This time we'll become noticers of the feeling of gratitude, studying the effects of gratitude on the body. First, notice the physical structure where you are right now. This could be in your office, at home, maybe in your car, or if you're lucky, in nature. Think about one thing about where you are that makes you feel good. What is it that makes this place feel special, that makes you feel safe? Noticing the joy of noticing comfort, beauty, luxury, for being well taken care of. Where does that gratitude land in your body? And for right now, making that feeling the only thing that exists in your world, paying full attention to the sense of gratitude for your physical space. Now, think of a time in your life when you were given an opportunity. This may have been years ago when you started a business or got into a new school. It may have been last week when you were given a new project, when there was something new to be done and all of a sudden the world changes. There's an opening, a sense of possibility. There's a place to dream of a new world. What does it feel like to have opportunity? What does it feel like to prepare for opportunity? To be in a place where you're using your creative talents, to be working with fun people, to be connecting over something that feels like it has purpose for you. How does that feel in your body? Feel that sense of excitement as if you were just there, just given that new opportunity. And now, noticing gratitude for someone special in your life. This may be the person that presented you with that opportunity. It could be a friend or a lover, just someone in your life that you really value. Notice their face. Take in their face as if it was the only thing that existed in the entire world. And notice how it is they make you feel. Where in your body do you feel their presence? Now, let's shift gears a little. Think of one thing that you can do today to serve your clients, your loved ones, or your business. What single thing can you do? Start, who can you call? Something that you can knock off your to-do list, or maybe something you've been a little bit afraid of doing. Imagine yourself this evening having accomplished this one task. And what would it feel like to honor yourself, to honor your clients, your employees, or your loved ones, and to get that thing done? Now think of something you'd like to start doing in the next few months. Maybe it's that exercise class, joining the hiking club, starting a new business, applying to a new school, asking someone out. What is it that's something that you could start in the next few months that would really help shape your future, really help develop this beautiful vision of who you think you really are, to go for what you really yearn for? Now, what would that look like and feel like in six months from now if you began this new chapter in your life in the next few months? And imagine now where you'd like to be five years from now. What do you want to look like? How do you want to feel in your body? What's your health like? What are you doing in your free time? What does your family life or your romantic life feel like 
If you stick to that highest vision of yourself and honor yourself by making the choices you really would like to make, what does it feel like to envision a future that you have created for yourself out of this beautiful sense of who you're really understanding yourself to be? And now, changing gears one last time. Noticing this beautiful heart-centered energy that's building up in you. Noticing what happens to you when you feel gratitude for your home, gratitude for the opportunities you've had, and for the people in your life. And also notice what happens when you visualize the highest version of yourself going out into the world and helping and inspiring people with your great work. This energy is the energy of your true heart. This gratitude and vision for your beautiful life is at the heart of your true self, who you truly are. Now collect this beautiful vision and energy into your chest and start sending it out. Initially, send it out to that one special person in your, in your life. You can imagine this energy being a globe of light extending from you and reaching that person. With its warm golden glow, send it out as if you can magically heal them of anything that might be bothering them just by sending out this beautiful heart-centered energy. This delicious warm light gives them energy, gives them love, makes them smile, and maybe allows them an opening to the possibility that they too have a spectacular and beautiful heart. Now we'll take the same energy and direct it to someone else maybe someone you work with, or maybe a few people that you work with, maybe your entire company, your entire clinic, your entire hospital. What would it be like if you could just walk into any room and illuminate everybody's spirit just with this gorgeous heart-centered energy? Picturing yourself walking through your place of work and extending well wishes to everyone that this beautiful glow of light instantly reaches them, giving them instant ease and light. Making them realize that they too have a tremendous intelligence and are capable of wonderful things. Noticing that your precious heart can make them more connected with their own precious heart. So let's add one more person to the mix. So think of someone whom you respect tremendously. Someone who has it together in their minds, who consistently lives in a state of courage, acceptance, and peace. This could be a spiritual or religious figure, a coach, someone you knew in the past, an old teacher, maybe someone whose work you follow in books or in the media, a sort of spiritual mentor, who helps guide your inner life. This person is wise and kind and doesn't use fear or anger in order to be successful. This person really savors their life. Think of the beautiful ways in which they use their minds and see how their presence affects you and affects others. Now, notice what it's like to have your beautiful heart-centered energy sent to them. What does it feel like to salute a master? What does it feel like to extend your warm wishes to someone who is already so connected? Notice if there's even more joy and gratitude in your heart. So switching gears one last time. Noticing the faces of all the people you've sent well wishes to. Your friends, your family, your coworkers, into that special mentor. And watch as they now send well wishes back to you. They each have their own beautiful globe of light, which they're sending out to you, which totally overtakes you with its warmth and kindness. What would it be like to have that beautiful heart-centered energy extended back towards you? As these wonderful people send positive energy, you instantly understand that the fearless and powerful energies of courage, acceptance, and peace are a much better fuel for your life than the fear, pride, and anger that you may have used 
because you used to think you needed that in order to succeed? What would your life be like from now on if there was quiet in your mind and if all of your actions were whispered to you from the same spirit of possibility, kindness, excitement, courage, and peace? If you were constantly motivated, inspired by the kind of energy that they're sending back to you? What if you always knew in your heart of hearts that life was happening for you and not to you? Think of how you can joyfully attain all those goals and visions that you've set for yourself if you live out of the same kind of energy that these wonderful people are sending you. What would your life look like tonight, in six months, in five years from now? Now look back at the face of all these well-wishers. Isn't that what they want for you? To live a life unencumbered by fear and negativity. Don't they just want you to be totally ensconced in the qualities of your true self? So sending them back a warm welcome and accepting this beautiful vision that they have of you, of being whole, perfect, and complete, without need for any internal criticism or negativity. May we all see ourselves with the same beautiful light that those wonderful well-wishers see in us. Sending one last thank you to their beautiful energy and a big, big thank you for this thing that we call life. <laughs>